Good afternoon, students. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine amidst this pandemic. As a continuation of our last topic, let's now move on to our second lesson, which is entitled, Carry Out Measurements and Calculations. At the end of, the, of this lesson, I'm expecting you students that you will be able to first carry out measurements and calculations in a required task and second, calculate cost of production. Carry out measurements and calculations in a required task. Different people may use the identical recipe for molded desserts. All of their molded desserts could turn out differently because of different measuring and mixing techniques. The following section presents some important measuring equivalents, tables, and conversion. Table of weights and measure. How to measure liquids. So this is how you're going to measure liquids in terms of cups, US, and metric measurements. Two tablespoons equals to one fluid ounces, equivalent to 30 ml. One fourth cup, equivalent to two fluid ounces, and equivalent to 60 ml. Three fluid ounces, equivalent to 90 ml. One half cup, equivalent to four fluid ounces, equivalent to 125 ml. Five fluid ounces, equivalent to 150 ml. Five and one half fluid ounces, equivalent to 170 ml. One fourth cup, equivalent to six fluid ounces equivalent to 185 ml, 7 fluid ounces, equivalent to 220 ml, 1 cup, equivalent to 8 fluid ounces, 250 ml, 2 cups, 16 fluid ounces, or 1 pint, equivalent to 500 ml, 2 and 1 half cups, equivalent to 20 fluid ounces, equivalent to 625 ml, 4 cups, equivalent to 32 fluid ounces or 1 quart, equivalent to 1 liter. So how to measure dry ingredients? These are the quick conversions in terms of ounces, grams, inch or inches, and millimeters. So let's start with 1 half ounce, equivalent to 15 grams, equivalent to 1 fourth inch, and equivalent to 5 millimeters. 1 ounce, equivalent to 30 grams, equivalent to 1 half inch, equivalent to 1 centimeter. 3 ounce, equivalent to 90 grams, equivalent to 1 inch, equivalent to 2.5 centimeter. 4 ounce, or 1 fourth pound, equivalent to 125 grams, equivalent to 2 inches, and equivalent to 5 centimeter. 5 ounces, equivalent to 155 grams, equivalent to 2.5 inches, equivalent to 6 centimeter. 6 ounces, equivalent to 185 grams, 3 and 1/4 inches, and 8 centimeter. 7 ounces, equivalent to 220 grams, equivalent to 4 inches, equivalent to 10 centimeter. 8 ounces, equivalent to 1/2 pounds. Equivalent to 250 grams, equivalent to 5 inches, and equivalent to 12 centimeters. 9 ounces, equivalent to 280 grams, equivalent to 6 inches, and equivalent to 15 centimeter. 10 ounces, equivalent to 215 grams, equivalent to 7 inches, equivalent to 18 centimeters. 11 ounces, equivalent to 245 grams equivalent to 8 inches, and equivalent to 20 cm. 12 ounces, equivalent to 3 fourth pounds, equivalent to 375 grams, equivalent to 9 inches, equivalent to 22 cm. 13 ounces, equivalent to 410 grams, equivalent to 10 inches, equivalent to 25 cm. 14 ounces, equivalent to 440 grams, equivalent to 11 inches, and equivalent to 28 centimeter. 15 ounces, equivalent to 470 grams, equivalent to 12 inches or 1 foot, equivalent to 30 centimeter. 
16 oz or 1 pound equivalent to 500 grams equivalent to 18 inches and equivalent to 46 centimeter 24 oz equivalent to 1 and 1 half pounds 750 grams 20 inches and equivalent to 50 centimeter 32 oz equivalent to 2 pounds equivalent to 1 kilogram equivalent to 24 inches or 2 feet equivalent to 61 centimeter 30 inches equivalent to 77 centimeter using cups and spoons all cup and spoon measurement are level you have cup you have here ounces equivalent of ml equivalent for teaspoon and 1 ml we'll start with one fourth cup equivalent to two fluid ounces 60 ml one fourth teaspoon equivalent to one ml one third cup equivalent to two and a half fluid ounces equivalent to 85 ml equivalent to one half teaspoon and equivalent to 2.5 ml one half cup equivalent to four fluid ounces equivalent to 125 ml equivalent to one teaspoon equivalent to 5 ml one cup equivalent to eight fluid ounces equivalent to 250 ml equivalent to one tablespoon equivalent to 15 ml i have open temperatures we have this Fahrenheit, Celsius, and temperatures. 250 degree Fahrenheit equivalent to 120 degree Celsius. The temperature must be very slow. For 300 degree Fahrenheit equivalent to 150 degree Celsius, the temperature must be slow. For, for 325 to 350 degree Fahrenheit equivalent to 160 to 180 degree Celsius, Temperature must be moderately slow. For 375 to 400 degree Fahrenheit, equivalent to 190 to 200 degree Celsius, the temperature must be moderate. For 425 to 450 degree Fahrenheit, equivalent to 220 to 230 degree Celsius, equivalent to moderately hot. For 475 to 500 degree Fahrenheit, equivalent to 250 to 260 degrees celsius the temperature must be hot measuring ingredients correctly accurate techniques in measuring are as important as the tools for measuring therefore always observe the following procedures first for rice and flour fill the cup to overflowing level up with a spatula or with a straight edge knife Sifted flour, most cake recipes call for sifted flour. In this case, sift flour two to three times. Spoon into the cup overflowing, level off with a spatula. Refined sugar. Sift sugar wants to take out lumps. So what do you mean by lumps again? So lumps is yung natawag natin na tibugol. Kung may tibugol dun sa ating sugar. So you should take off the lumps, if any. Spoon into cup and level off with it with a spatula do not pack or tap the sugar down so wag itatap or ipapak pababa yung sugar kung ay or sa bisaya pa ayaw i duot right absolutely right for brown sugar pack into cup just enough to hold its shape when turn off cup, level up with a spatula before emptying. Level a measuring spoon with a straight edge of a knife to measure small amounts of salt, pepper, living agents, or solid fats. Liquid ingredients, liquid measuring cup, a glass or plastic cup with graduated markings on the side. Place the cup on a flat, level surface. Hold the cup firmly and pour the desired amount or liquid into the cup. Lean over and view the liquid at eye level to make sure it is the proper amount so for brown sugar iduot yung siya taman iduot siya then para magka level sila sa measuring cup or measuring spoon for the sugar since it is the dry ingredient check and calibrate timers thermometers scales, and other measuring devices according to manufacturer's manual before using. 
Ingredients which measure by volume and by weight demand standardized measuring tools and equipment. Do not shake the dry measuring cup to level off dry ingredients. It is easier to weight fat, butter, margarine if both in pre-measured sticks. If fat does not come in pre-measured stick, use a scale to weigh the needed amount. Liquid should be poured into cup in desired level. Cup should stand on a flat surface. Spring scales must be adjusted so that pointer is at zero. Place pan, bowl, or piece of wax paper on a scale to hold ingredient to be measured. When using the balance scales, place the pan on the left hand side of the balance and the pan weight on the right hand side and the required weight to the right hand side and adjust the beam on the bar so that the total is the way needed. Ranges, sometimes called stubs, provide heat for cooking on top and in the oven. The controls for range heat must be accurate and easy to operate. Tools and utensils needed for cooking on the range and workspace should be within easy reach. Learn to match the size of pan to the size of the unit and to select the right amount of heat for the cooking job to be done. In microwave cooking, time schedules must be followed. Exactly because every second is important. The microwave shut off automatic automatically when the door is open. Refrigerators are oper op operated by electricity. The unit that does the cooling is underneath the box behind the grill. Dishwashers are a great help if food is rinsed from dishes before stocking them. Follow the plan for stocking as suggested in the direction by manufacturer's manual. Mixers are the most useful machines in commercial kitchens, and even at home, it is good for making salad dressings, sandwich fillings for sauces, mashing potatoes, beet butter, and eggs. Attachments are also available to chop, whip, squeeze out, juice, and make purees. Coffee makers mostly are automatic, requiring only the measurement on coffee, measurement of coffee and water, and preparing foods of the range in the fryer. Heat is transferred by conduction. How many times have you been ready to cook and found you were out of a certain ingredient? Sometimes it is inconvenient to run out and purchase the necessary ingredient. It's easier to use a similar product as a replacement. There are, however, several factors to consider when substituting ingredients. Take into account differences in flavor moisture, texture, and weight. Substitutions with an acid factor such as molasses need to be neutralized to avoid changes in the flavor and textures of the product. Differences in sweetening and thickening powder or power need consideration in sugar and flour substitutions to help avoid disappointments when substituting ingredients Understand the physical and chemical properties of all ingredients. Measure accurately. The following table gives substitutes that may be used to get a finished product similar to the original. The following abbreviations are used. TSP or teaspoon. TBSP or tablespoon. OZ for ounce and LB for pound. And now let's move on to the ingredient equivalent. So we have here at the left side the ingredients, at the center the amount, and of course at the left side are the substitutions. Okay, let's start with the allspice. One tablespoon substitute, one half tablespoon cinnamon plus one half tablespoon ground cloves. Apple pie spice, one tablespoon, one half tablespoon cinnamon, 1 4 tablespoon nutmeg, and 1 8 tablespoon cardamom. Auro thickener, aurot as thickener, 1 tablespoon, you can substitute it with 2 tablespoon of all-purpose flour, and 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. For baking powder, for double acting, 1 tablespoon, but you can sub substitute it to 1 4 tablespoon Baking soda, 1 half tablespoon scream of tartar, and 1 4 tablespoon cornstarch. 1 4 tablespoon baking soda plus 5 8 tablespoon cream of tartar. 
one four tablespoon baking soda plus one half cup buttermilk, sour milk or yogurt. Decrease liquid in recipe by one half cup. One four tablespoon baking soda, one half tablespoon vinegar or lemon juice plus sweet milk to make one half cup. Decrease liquid in recipe by one half cup. One four tablespoon baking soda plus one fourth cup molasses. Decrease liquid in recipe by one half tablespoon. One and one half one and one half tablespoon phosphate or tartrate baking powder. Bay leaf crushed one tablespoon, but you but a substitute may one whole bay leaf. Brandy one fourth cup. 1 tablespoon brandy extract plus enough water or liquid cold for in recipe to make 1 fourth cup. Bread crumbs dry 1 fourth to 1 third cup. 1 slice bread 1 fourth cup of cracker crumbs and 2 third cup rolled oats. Broth beef or chicken 1 cup. 1 bouillon cube 1 tablespoon or 1 envelope powdered broth. Base or 1 tablespoon instant granules dissolved in cup water. Pwede itawag, ito yung tatawag na sa atin na beef or nor cubes. Ito yung sila. Pwede yung substitute yung ang nor or nor cubes. We also have, we also have butter. 1 cup. You can replace that with 1 cup margarine or 7 8 to 1 cup hydro hydrogenated shortening plus 1 half tablespoon of salt, 7 8 cup lard plus 1 half tablespoon salt, 7 8 cup oil plus 1 half tablespoon salt. For ketchup, 1 cup, you can replace it by 1 cup tomato sauce plus 1 half cup sugar and 2 tablespoon of vinegar for use in cooking. Chili sauce, 1 cup, you can replace that with 1 cup tomato sauce, 1 fourth cup brown sugar, 2 tablespoon vinegar, 1 fourth tablespoon cinnamon, and dash of ground cloves and allspice. Chives, finely chopped, 1 tablespoon, we can replace that with 1 tablespoon green onion tops, finely chopped. Chocolate and sweetened, 1 ounce. We can replace that with 3 tablespoon cocoa plus 1 tablespoon butter or fat, 3 tablespoon carb powder plus 2 tablespoon water. Semi sweet, 1 to 2 third ounce. We can replace that with 1 ounce or unsweetened chocolate plus 4 tablespoon sugar. Chocolate chips, semi sweet, melted. 6 oz pack or 2 third cup. You can replace that with 2 squares or 2 oz unsweetened chocolate, 2 tablespoons shortening, and 1 half cup sugar melted or 2 third cup. Coconut grated dry. 1 tablespoon. We can replace that with 1 and 1 half tablespoon fresh coconut or grated. Coconut milk. 1 cup. We can replace that with 1 cup milk. Coconut cream, we can replace 1 cup, we can replace it 1 cup cream. Cornstarch, 1 tablespoon, we can replace it 2 tablespoon all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoon granular tapioca, and 1 tablespoon arrowroot. For corn syrup, 1 cup, we can replace it with 1 cup granulated sugar plus 1 fourth cup water or other liquid cold for in recipe. Cracker crumbs, 3 fourth cup plus 1 cup dry bread crumbs. Cream, half and half, 10 to 12 percent fat. 1 cup, we can replace it with 1 and 1 half tablespoon butter plus 7 8 cup milk or 1 half cup coffee cream plus 1 half cup milk. 1 cup evaporated milk and diluted. Coffee, 20 percent fat. 1 cup, we can replace it with 3 tablespoon butter plus 7 8 cup milk. Heavy, 36 to 40% fat, 1 cup. We can replace it with 1 third cup butter plus 3 fourth cup milk for baking only. Will not whip. Sour, 1 cup. We can replace it with 7 8 cup butter milk or sour milk. 1 cup yogurt or 1 and 1 8 cup powdered non-fat dry milk. 
1 half cup warm water and 1 tablespoon vinegar mixture will thicken and refrigerator in a few hours. 1 cup evaporated milk plus 1 tablespoon vinegar allow to stand 5 minutes before using. 1 third cup buttermilk, 1 tablespoon lemon juice, and 1 cup smooth cottage cheese blended together. 7 8 cup milk, 1 tablespoon lemon juice, and 2 tablespoon butter or margarine. Whipped cream, 2 cups, 1 cup chilled evaporated milk plus 1 half tablespoon lemon juice whipped until sieve. Cream of tartar, 1 half tablespoon, you can replace it with 1. And 1 half tablespoon lemon juice or vinegar. Dill fresh. 1 head. Square to 1 tablespoon dill seed. Eggs whole. Large. 1 egg. 3 and 1 third tablespoon. 2 and 1 half tablespoon dried sifted eggs plus 2 and 1 half tablespoon water. 3 and 1 third tablespoon frozen egg yolks stowed. 1 half tablespoon baking powder. 1 tablespoon vinegar and 1 tablespoon liquid in baking. 1 egg in every 3 can be replaced with 1 tablespoon cornstarch in baking. Soften 1 tablespoon unflavored gelatin and 3 tablespoon cold water and add 3 tablespoon boiling water, cooled and beat until frothy. And add to recipe, reduce other liquid by 2 Or one fourth commercial egg substitute for whites I have one egg white two tablespoon two tablespoon dried egg white plus two tablespoon water or two tablespoon frozen egg whites stowed or yung ipatunaw na when we say told ito yung natunaw na or yolks for yolks 1 egg yolk is equivalent to 1 and 1 third tablespoon. You can replace it with 2 tablespoon dried egg yolks plus 2 tablespoon water. 4 tablespoon frozen egg yolks, hold. For flour, pastry, 1 cup, 7, 7 8 cup all purpose or bread flour, cake, 1 cup, 7 to 8 cup all purpose flour, 1 cup less 2 tablespoon. White all purpose for thickening 1 tablespoon, 1 half tablespoon cornstarch, potato starch, rice starch, or arrowroot starch, 1 tablespoon quick cooking tapioca, 2 tablespoon wacky rice or corn flour, 2 tablespoon granular cereal, 2 tablespoon brown flour, 1 and 1 half tablespoon whole wheat flour. White all purpose for baking 1 cup, 1 and 1 half cups breadcrumbs. 1 and 1 8 cups cake flour or 1 cup plus 2 tablespoon, 7 8 to 1 cup cornmeal, 1 half cup cornstarch plus 1 half cup rye, potato or rice flour, sift together 6 times, use with 2 tablespoon baking powder per cup in quick breads as weight flour allergy substitute. 13 16 cup gluten flour, 1 cup plus 3 tablespoon. 5 8 cup potato flour, 7 8 cup rice flour, 1 1 third cups rolled oats, 1 1 fourth cups rye flour, 1 8 cup soy, cotton seed, peanut or carob flour plus 7 8 cup all purpose flour, 1 third cup wheat germ plus 2 third cup all purpose flour, 1 cup minus 1 tablespoon whole wheat flour. Note, specialty flours added to yeast. Bread recipes will result in a reduced volume and heavier product. White all-purpose self-raising, 1 cup, 1 cup all-purpose flour, plus 1 to 1 per tablespoon baking powder and 1 per tablespoon salt. For garlic, 1 clove small. We can replace it with 1 fourth tablespoon, 1 eighth tablespoon garlic powder or instant minced garlic. 1 half to 1 tablespoon garlic salt. Reduce amount salt called for in recipe. Gelatin flavored 3 oz package. 1 tablespoon plain gelatin plus 2 cups fruit juice. Ginger candied or raw. 1 tablespoon equivalent to 1 eighth tablespoon powdered ginger. 
herbs, fresh, 1 tablespoon. We can replace it with 1 tablespoon dried herbs. Honey, 1 cup. We can replace it with 1 and 1 fourth cup sugar plus 1 fourth cup liquid. Use liquid called for in recipe. Horseradish, grated, or 1 tablespoon, 2, two tablespoon bottled horse radish. Fresh Italian seasoning, 1 tablespoon, 1 4 tablespoon basil, 2 3 tablespoon dried parsley, and pinched oregano. For lemon, whole 1 lemon, 1 to 3 tablespoon juice, plus 2 to 2 and 1 half tablespoon grated rind. Juice, 1 tablespoon, 1 half tablespoon vinegar, grated rind peel, grated rind or peel, 1 tablespoon. 1 half tablespoon lemon extract. Lemon grass, 1 tablespoon. 1 tablespoon lemon peel. Maple sugar grated, 1 tablespoon and 1 half cup. 1 tablespoon white sugar, 1 cup maple syrup decreased liquid by 1 half cup. Maple syrup, 1 about 2 cups. Combine 2 cups sugar and 1 cup water. Bring to a clear boil. Take of heat and one half tablespoon maple flavoring. Marshmallows, miniature, one cup, ten large marshmallows. Mayonnaise for use in salads and salad dressings, one cup, one cup yogurt, sour cream or cottage cheese, spirit in blender, used for all or part of mayonnaise called for in recipe. Milk, buttermilk or sour. 1 cup, 1 cup minus 1 tablespoon sweet milk plus 1 tablespoon vinegar or lemon juice. Let's start 5 minutes. 1 cup sweet milk plus 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 3 fourth tablespoon cream of tartar and 1 half cup yogurt plain. Skim 1 cup, 1 third cup instant and dry milk plus 7 8 cup water. Whole 1 cup, 1 half cup evaporated milk plus 1 half cup water. 1 cup skim to percent or constituted dry milk, 1 cup soy or almond milk, 1 cup fruit juice or potato water in baking, 1 cup water plus 1 and 1 half tablespoon butter in baking, 1 cup buttermilk plus 1 half tablespoon baking soda, decrease baking powder by 2 tablespoon. Sweeten condensed 1 cup, combine 1 cup plus 2 tablespoon dry milk with 1 half cup warm water and 3 fourth cup sugar. Mix well. May set pan in bowl or of hot water to dissolve sugar. Mint leaves, fresh chop, one fourth cup, one tablespoon dried mint leaves, molasses, one cup, three fourth cup sugar, increase liquid by five tablespoon, decrease baking soda by one half tablespoon, and two tablespoon baking powder. Three fourth cup sugar plus one and one fourth tablespoon cream of tartar, increase liquid in recipe by five tablespoon. Mushrooms, fresh, 1 pound, equivalent to 3 oz dried plus 1 half, one and 1 half cups water. So here are the other rest ingredients, the amount, and of course the replacement. You can just take a picture in the table. Just really take a picture so that we have a copy. Anyway, it's, it is also in your module. So these are the ingredients. Mustard dry, nuts, oil for sauteing, onion, onion powder, orange, orange peel, dried, parsley fresh, pepper white, peppers, green or red bell, dried pimento, pumpkin pie spice, rennet, Rice, rum, shortening, melted, solid, sugar, brown, confectioners, or powdered, granulated. Here you go, students. You can have or just with it your own.
okay, for the continuation. As you can see in your screen, you can just take a picture of it. We have the the non caloric solution, non caloric greens, tapioca, quick cooking, quick cooking thickening, tomatoes fresh, packed, canned, and tomato juice. How to calculate markup percentage? What do you mean by markup? We say markup. What comes into your mind? Hmm? Okay. So when we say markup. Kung sa ato apan yung pinulungan, it is called ginansya. Okay? Kung pila ginansya ni mo, si Imuhanggi palit, o si Imuhanggi baligya. Okay? Markup is the difference between how much an item costs you and how much you sell that item for it's your prof profit per item. Any person working in business or retail will find the skill of being able to calculate markup percentage very val valuable. Instructions. Calculate, calculate your peso markup. This is done by subtracting your buying price from your selling price. Example, selling price is 15. Purchase cost or buying price is 10. So, your peso markup is 5. So, yung selling price is 15. Your purchase of cost or buying price is 10. So, your peso markup is 5. Meaning, ang selling price Mauna imuhang presyo nga gipadagan. Pero imong palit sila na is 10 pesos. So, imong ginan siya is 5 pesos. So, kung palit niyo sa tindahan, for example, na malit ka um, itlog, baligyan. Kung ang baligyan ni mo is, ang balig, kung ang palit sa itlog ni mo daan is 8 pesos, so, mo papong ka na o 2 pesos, so, yung baligyan is gis na. So, ang ginan siya kay dos pesos. Kaya yung baligya, gist naman. Kaya so, yung ginansya kay 8 pesos. So, kung inani, mo ang selling price, mong pagbaligya, 15, mong purchase, kaya ito yung pagpalit din mo, is gist lang. So, nipatong kag 5, so yung ginansya kay 5. Okay, number 2. Decide whether you want to calculate your percentage markup based on cost or selling price. Once you choose which you will be using to calculate, it is important you stick to the method you choose throughout all your calculations or you will end up with faulty data. If you decide to calculate your percent markup based on cost, go on to step 3. If you decide to calculate your percent markup based on selling price, go on to step 4. Okay, calculate percent markup based on cost. This is done by dividing the peso markup by the cost. Example, peso markup. Ang imuhang ginansya. Purchase or cost buying price, ang pagpalit, plus 10. Then, percentage markup, 0.5 or 50%. Calculate your percent markup based on selling price. This is done by dividing the peso markup by the selling price. Example, peso markup, 5 peso. Selling price, sa pagbaligyan ni mo is 15 peso. So, ang percentage, percentage markup, or imong ginansya, is 0.33 or 33%. Make sure you consistently use either cost of the product or selling price to find the percent markup on an item. Even though the cost, selling price, and peso markup will always be the same, the percentage markup will be drastically different depending on if you calculate it using selling price or cost. Using selling price will give you a lower percentage markup assuming you are making a profit, while using cost will give you a higher percentage markup. Okay, so let's now move on to our third lesson which is entitled Interpret Kitchen Layout. So at the end of this lesson, I'm expecting students to be able to read and interpret kitchen plan and create kitchen layout. Read and interpret kitchen plan, kitchen floor plans and symbols. So, what are these kitchen floor plans and symbols? 
excited. Alright, here we go. So we have the here the kitchen floor plan. So as you can see, these are the kitchen equipment. So these are the symbols. The freestanding sink. The symbol stands for toilet. This one for shower. This one for cabinet with sink. This one for stove or range. For this this one for fridge or refrigerator. This one for washer. This one for dryer. This is for cabinet, and this is for hot water heater. Understanding the basic kitchen layout. Understanding the basic principles of kitchen layout will help take much of the mystery out of the design process. One of the most basic layout principles is the work triangle. The work triangle is an imaginary line drawn from each of the three primary workstations in the kitchen. The food storage, preparation or cooking, and cleanup stations. By drawing these lines, you can assess the distance required to move to and from each area and thus determine how well the traffic will flow. To help avoid traffic flow problems, works triangles should have a perimeter that measures less than 26 feet. So, yung kalayuan ng mga equipment sa kitchen kailangan nasa mga 26 feet para hindi kayo ma-traffic or kada sa ito pang pinulungan di mo magdasok o di mo magbangga sa imuang katrabaho o sikuyog mo sa balay The three primary kitchen workstations which create the work triangle are First, the food storage station Your refrigerator and pantry are the more or the most major items here Cabin cabinetry like lazy susan or swing out pantry units adds function and convenience Options like wine racks, spice racks, and roll-out trays help to organize your grocery. Second, the preparation or cooking station. Your range, oven, microwave, and smaller appliances are found in this area. Counter space is important in this section. Conserve space by moving appliances off the counter with appliance garage, cab cabinets, and space-saving ideas like towel rods and pot lid racks. Third, the cleanup station. Everyone's least favorite activity is one of the kitchen's most important cleanup. Ito yung bagay na hindi naman paborito ng lahat or hindi talaga naging paborito ng lahat. But ito yung pinaka importante because ito yung cleanup time. This area is home to the sink, waste disposal, and dishwasher. Cabinetry for this station is designed to organize with the trash bin cabinet and roll out tray baskets for storage convenience. Workstation Determining your kitchen's layout Since the kitchen is one of the most active work areas of the home, it is important to select the right layout to complement your lifestyle and taste. There are five primary kitchen layout shapes, the U-shaped, L-shaped, island, G-shaped, corridor, gallery, and single wall shapes. After learning about the work triangle in the section, understanding basic kitchen layout, you will now see how the work triangle functions in each layout and the advantages each layout offers. The U-shaped kitchen. Name for the U-shape, it resembles this kitchen, is popular in large and small homes alike Perfect for families who use their kitchens a great deal, provides plenty of counter space, efficient work triangle, can convert one cabinet leg into a breakfast bar. So as you can see, this is the U-shaped kitchen. Next, we have the L-shaped kitchen. This kitchen shape is one of the most flexible and most popular, providing a compact triangle. Very flexible layout design. Major appliances can be placed in a variety of areas. Work areas are close to each other. Can easily convert to a U-shape with a cabinet leg addition. So, kapag nalagyan ito ng cabinet leg dito, pa U-shape na siya. Pero kung wala naman, it is an L-shaped kitchen. Next, so we have the island option. Islands are extremely popular in homes today and are most often seen in L-shaped kitchens. 
Islands can not only keep work areas traffic free but also create a wealth of extra counter and storage space. An island can be an indispensable food preparation station or act as a butcher block area. The island is also an ideal place to add an extra sink or an island green. So as you can see, this is an island option. Kasi dalawa yung kitchen nila. Next, we have the G-shaped kitchen. Built very much like the U-shape with the addition of an elongate, elongated partial wall, the G-shaped kitchen offers a great deal of space. Ideal for longer families needing extra storage space, plenty of counter and cabinet space, Multiple cooks can function well in this layout, can convert one cabinet leg into a breakfast bar or enter entertaining areas. As you can see in the picture, this is called the G-shaped kitchen. Ta-da! Next, we have the corridor or gallery kitchen. This style kitchen makes the most out of a smaller space. So, my smaller space, smaller space na yung bahay, ito yung ginagamit sa Po, sa form na kitchen. The corridor gal galley kitchen. Great for smaller kitchens. Appliances are close to one another. Easy for one cook to maneuver. So, kung nanayin mo lang ang gumagalaw o ang nagluluto, easy to para sa kanya kasi malapit-tapit na yung mga areas. Can easily convert to a U-shape by closing off one end. So, kung, kung close yung mga one end, so ito banda, lagyan natin ng bali parang ball pen. Teka lang. Next, we have the single wall of Pullman Kitchen, designed for homes or apartments. The single wall kitchen offers a very important and airy feel. Ideal for apartments and smaller homes, works well with the open designs found in many contemporary homes. Small movable table can provide easy space, can be enhanced with the addition of an island. Right? So that's it for today. Do you have any questions, clarifications? Okay, for queries, feel free to contact me with my cell phone number, 0950-4635-996. And visit our link, https www.kitef.com slash e-learning for your assignments and activities. Good day, everyone!